This week in a galaxy far, far away, Tales of the Empire takes the cake this May the 4th. Story details for Outlaws are ripe for opportunity, and The Mandalorian Grogu has a release date. All this and more on the Star Wars Slate. Is that a bench? Everything is not ideal. We're in agreement on that one. The Mandalorian Grogu releases May 22nd, 2026. This could be a return to form for Star Wars, having put off her focus from movies in exchange for television. The Mandalorian spark Disney Plus as a streaming site. The Mandalorian could be the first Star Wars theatrical release in years. Star Wars on the big screen is a touchstone event, something the franchise has long been known for. On May the 4th, Tales of the Empire drops. Like how Tales of the Jedi focused on two specific characters, Ahsoka and Dooku, the new tale shall focus on Morgan Elsbeth and Beresafi. The recent trailer spoils quite a bit. Morgan is a night sister who survived the Separatist massacre on Dathomir. Played by the same actress in the Ahsoka episode of The Mandalorian, Diana Lee Inosanto. Beres, voiced by Meredith Salinger, has a rich history directly tied to Anakin's apprentice leaving, and therefore surviving, the Jedi Order. Ironically enough, Barriss' new boss is Darth Vader, the trailer showing her train into an Inquisitor. Ahsoka, Ahsoka, Ahsoka. Dave Filoni needs everything Ahsoka. Story trailer for Outlaws is on the run and it's revealed a ton. Locations like Jabba's Palace, Cantobite, Kijimi, and Akiva have previously been revealed but not details like racing against a crate dragon or facing down a new villain named Sliro or discovering a weave of conspiracies within the five syndicates, one of which includes Crimson Dawn, Kira's secret society that has a vital role between The Empire Strikes Back and Return of a Jedi. The trailer also marks this point in the Civil War as the perfect time for organized crime to enrich themselves. Players will take control of k and maybe Nyx, her furry axolotl, uh, fingers crossed, what all these sites will entail is up in the air, but not Ubisoft's release date, August 30th. Remember the dialogue from Andor? I burn my life to make a sunrise that I know I'll never see. Are you a fish or are you a thief? One way out. These are all lines written by Bo Willeman for the three-episode prison arc. He's tasked to co-write James Mangold's longtime coming Dawn of a Jedi. A movie that will go into the origin of a force 25,000 years before, uh, well, anything really. The writer's biggest credit is showrunner for House of Cards, particularly its first four seasons. Willeman is widely known for crafting political drama that deals in themes of power and corruption. If you can't stop seeing Jedi Master Indara as Trinity from The Matrix upload into Star Wars, you should know that was totally intentional. The Acolyte showrunner, Leslie Hedlund, confirms in an Empire article, quote, She is very much inspired by Trinity. I personally want to see someone who had the highest status you can imagine in a Force Foo fight. Somebody that would come in and you immediately will be like, Oh, that's the most powerful Jedi in the room. Actress Carrie Ann Moss concurs, quote, I felt that a few times in my career, where you're talking to a filmmaker and you just go, Oh, they totally get it. A part of me forgot how much I love action. I love it. It's hard, but I was just really thrilled that I could do it, and I wanted to do it well. The Acolyte will arrive on Disney Plus this summer. To say the Knights of the Old Republic remake has undergone a confusing production would be an understatement. Originally announced by Aspire at the 2021 PlayStation Showcase, having already been worked on for years, the game slammed into development purgatory. Production stopped and restarted before Wright's moved to a subsidiary of Embracer Group, Saber Interactive. Things over a silent cancellation were whispered among fans. But the CEO for Saber recently assured the game is alive and well, even if a release date remains a long way off. Remember to like and subscribe to stay up to date with Star Wars Slate. You can also join our public Discord where we discuss everything Star Wars and Lucasfilm in general. This is Connor, and I'll see y'all next time. May the Force be with you.